Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's stuck on update requested for iOS 18. You may be looking to download the update, but it's not updating. In that case, you want to follow these steps. So let's get started. Of course, the very first thing you want to do is go into your setting and give it a retry by going there and then going to general and then software update and see if the update is going through. Now, if it still says stuck on that, update requested the next thing you want to do is click on automatic update first of all turn these all off like that go back and then come back over here and then turn them all back on and that should try to go ahead and request the update again and hopefully it doesn't get stuck another thing you also want to do is close out this setting app and then pull on the control menu put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and then reopen the settings app and then go to general software update and check if the update is going and progressing along. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to consider, it's going to be using Wi-Fi instead of cellular data. So if you're using cellular data, switch over to a strong Wi-Fi as Wi-Fi is going to be the best way to update your phone. Now, after doing that and it's still not working, you want to follow this step, which is going to be, you're going to locate the volume up and volume down button along with the big side button here on the right hand side. So we're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears on the screen. So as you can see here, I'm holding on to this big side button, waiting it for to completely shut down and we're going to wait for the apple logo to appear at that time we'll let go and this is known as a force restart which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone and you will not have any issues now this method does take a few tries to do so if it doesn't work the first time try it again volume up volume down and then hold on to the side button until it goes by after you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting, and this time we're going to go to general I, iPhone storage, and then here you want to check that you have enough storage available. So generally you need 10 gigs or more available to uh, successfully install the update here. So if you don't, you want to clear up some space. In order to do that, delete some app, or if you have long format video, you can also delete that as well. Now, along with that, you wanna check out this list to see if you already have an update that might say iOS update and that version. If you do see it, you wanna simply click on that update and it's gonna look something like this where it's gonna show you, as I see here in the screenshot, it's gonna say software update. You wanna click on delete that update so that if it was frozen or stuck on that previous update, you wanna delete it and then go ahead and retry in your settings, general software update, and see if you're gonna update now. Now, if you're still having issues, next thing you also wanna ensure that your phone has at least 50% or more charge. When it's under 50, it doesn't wanna download or even install certain update. In that case, connect your phone to a charger, and then also go ahead and to your settings, go to battery, and if you have low power mode turned on by any chance, you wanna turn that setting off. Again, that will reduce things like being able to download and such, so you wanna turn that as well off. Now, along with that, if you're still having issues, the next thing you gotta do is go into your settings, go to general, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and then click on reset one more time here, and then reset of the network. So when you do a network reset, basically it will delete all of your saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices and any connectivity uh, issues that you're having, you wanna do this quick reset to fix those problems. Now, if you have done all of this and you simply can't get the phone to uh, update or still stuck on that uh, requested update, you wanna consider updating through the iTunes or a Finder or a new MacBook through your computer. In that case, we'll leave a link for another video on how to do that and as that will take a little bit more of effort to do it. So that's why we made another video for you guys. Check it out in the comment or the description section and hopefully after following that, you can go ahead and update your iPhone. And if this video is helpful, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks, especially for iOS 18 that we'll be doing. We'll see you guys next time.